high we going to see an overview to IC or integrated circuit pin configuration okay so let's get started so as you can see over here this is an IC okay that contains four amplifiers as you see here so of course this is the first pin of this IC why because we have the symbol here we have this symbol here means the left pin is the pin number one you see okay one two three four and so on okay so here for the first amplifier it has two inputs as you see the pin two and pin three okay are inputs for the amplifier one and the P1 is the output okay as you see here we have input 1 and input 1 so we have here plus and minus because this is amplifier okay always amplifier has two inputs minus input and plus input and this is output okay so this is the fourth pin is plus v or v plus means the voltage let's assume for example for this integrated circuit that this voltage for example is 5 for example volt for example okay so we have here voltage and here we have the ground so this pin is connected to ground always the digital ground okay so this is power and this is ground and the pin number five and number six are inputs for the amplifier number two as you see and the output is seven okay the same principle here so we have two inputs ten and nine for this amplifier and we have here output so here we have two inputs twelve and thirteen and the output is 14 as you see here so this integrated circuits contain four amplifier okay and four outputs okay so this is just a normal and simple integrated circuit so as you can see here this is a peak 16 okay this is a big integrated circuit as you see over here okay with a lot of pins okay about 64 pins as you see here 64 so always we should look for the sign that means here is the pin number one so we have here this sign as you see so we have this angle here as you see here okay this is a normal angle but here we have this sign and also we have this hole means this is the pin number one as you see over here okay and always the reading is in this direction okay so one two three four etc in this direction okay so for the pin number one two three four five and six seven and eight this is the same signal as you see we have here so for the pin number one two this is r e signal here we have our g signal so in accordance with the use of the integrated circuit but in pin 7 we have here so the vpp so this is a voltage okay vpp okay so rg5 so this is my so the pin number nine so we have vss means this is ground okay and we have vdt this is a voltage okay this is a working voltage and we have here rf signal okay the same here we have other signals okay here we have vss means this is a ground okay always the analog ground here we have the vdd a voltage over here also we have the ground here okay and we have here also the ground as you see and the vdd also the, the voltage for this ic so this is the pin configuration for this IC and this is the reference for this IC. So for example, if you find when you do your repair that 
this IC, for example, is failed or damaged, when you want to replace it with another one, you should pay attention to this reference. Always, you should replace a failed or a damaged IC or MOSFET or any component with another with the same reference. So we have here the, the reference, okay? So as you see here, we have the main component here is this MOSFET, the Q67. Okay, so here we have plus 3.3 volt always, as you see. Okay, here we have resistor. Okay, and so this line or this wire is connected to this. Okay, so this 3.3 volt will pass through this resistor and then go directly to the drain of this transistor okay this is transistor okay so q70b okay and here also we have another transistor or basically mosfet okay so we have drain or gate drain and source and the source okay here we have source the source of this mosfet is connected to the digital ground okay so here we have the ray on this is a signal ray on with 1.05 volt will go directly to the gate of this mosfet here we have a ground connected to the source of this mosfet okay and here we have plus 15 volt always okay we have a resistor r613 okay we have here a diode as you see diode and resistor over here okay so this diode will block the current so the current will pass through this resistor not through this diode okay so we have here capacitor okay so this is q67 okay this is a mosfet with eight pins exactly in this shape okay with eight pins as you see here exactly in this shape okay this so we have here poor so we have here three are source we have here drain gate and this is drain okay so this is source okay this is a gate and this is drain okay so the pin number one is over here so this is a mosfet okay as you see here we have the drain is this okay this is d okay the drain is this okay so four pins as you see four pins are connected together why because we have these dots here okay here we have here source as you see here we have source three pins are connected together okay and here we have the gate as you see here so when the gate is activated so for this mosfet basically this is a, an npn mosfet so this voltage 1.05 volt will pass through will pass from source to the drain okay in this direction okay from source to the drain when this gate is activated okay here we have capacitor where here we have resistor and we have here the digital ground okay so as you see here we have many components and the major components here is the transistor as you see here we have a lot of transistors okay so here we have the source of power we have v plus okay and here we have a device this is an ammeter as you see here a device okay so we have here a device that measure the current okay this is a current okay so here this is a transistor and here we have a lot of Darlington transistor okay this is as you see this is a Darlington transistor as you see here two transistor always as you see we have here the base collector and emitter and the emitter of the first transistor is connected to the base of the second transistor means a Darlington transistor okay so this is transistor Q5, Q6. This is another transistor. Okay, the same principle. This is so also this is a Darlington transistor. Okay, as you see, because the emitter of this is connected to the base of this. Okay, so Q7. We have here a resistor. Okay, this is the output. So this is the input and this is the output. Okay, so over here we have 
as you see other transistors okay as you see we have q4 q3 q2 and q1 we have inputs this is inputs okay so the inputs it goes here in this direction to the base of this of this transistor as you see so the emitter of this is connected to the ground also for this is connected to the ground the base of these two transistors are connected together so we have here base also here we have base okay and this emitter is connected to the ground the same and, and this is connected to the ground okay 